And welcome back to the long run where we are playing The Longest Journey. Last time, a lot of crap happened, but uh, we ended up getting all four pieces of the uh, disc, which is now floating over there in the water. And all we really need to do is drain this water with this wheel, which has now been unlocked. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get into the tower, wherever it is. Double time. Come on, let's go. It's the complete and assembled stone disc, forged by the fire of a dragon and chilled in the cool waters of the Sentinel Enclave. Ah, so that's why the water was here, was so that we could cool it down after it had just been freshly smelted. Uh, so I thought this was gonna like open up a passageway or something, but it doesn't seem to have done that, so... I don't think there's anything else for us to do here. An unfortunate smelting accident. I love stone. Oh dear, no. What is this? Oh my god, it's an army heading this way, and they've got the road blocked. Where's a shift when you need one? I'm in real trouble here. Come on, shift, shift. I did it last time I was scared out of my mind and I don't feel any safer now. It's not working. I'm just gonna have to hide out in the... Oh! There it is. Oh, chapter 11. Kin. Okay, so I guess we're not... It's not 10 chapters. Saved by the bell. Again. I'm like the Incredible Hulk, except my powers only work when I'm scared silly. That's the second time I've opened a shift by instinct alone when I've been in mortal danger. The frustrating thing is, I still don't know how to do it when I'm not scared. Wait, didn't the old lady say I should use what I do best to focus my talents? Is running away really what I do best? <laughs> Come to think of it, why did the shift dump me here? I wasn't even thinking about the studio. Well, time to paint now. I'm way past finger painting. Yep. I need a you paint pick, You palette. just picked it up, April. Use it. The old woman, Lady Elvane, was it? She said something about using my craft to focus my powers, to learn how to open a shift at will. I guess it's worth a try. I did it! On my own, I did it! You've been here before. April. Oh, Mother! What's wrong with you? Touch me, April. I don't know you well enough for that. Hmm. What's happening to you, Mother? I am dying, April. But you can't die. You're the... the mother, the white dragon. You're eternal. Aren't you? The mother is, April. But I am not. It is time for the new to replace the old. For the seed to grow into a flower. And for the withered and the grey to turn to dust and pass on into the ages. Help me understand, please. Take my blue eye, the crystal. You need it. But I can't. Take it, quickly. Thank you. That's kind of gross. <sighs> Please don't go. I am tired. 
The war with chaos has taken its toll on me. I wish I could have seen my children grow up. When will the egg hatch? When I die and turn to dust. Be here, then, to witness the new mother. I promise. Be who you are, April. Do not be afraid of that. Who am I? My daughter. My own daughter. I'm sorry, what? Wait a minute. Why have the egg if you're just going to just be who bolt you are. right through it? Sister? Sister. I I can do it now. I can shift. It's not easy, but I can do it. Ironic as it may be though, I think I've done all I can do in Arcadia. I have the two Arcadian dragon's eye jewels, the disc, and the star map. Now I need to find the guardian, the two missing jewels, and somebody who can help me decipher the star map. And I have to look for those things here, in Stark. So, the moment we learn how to shift is the moment that we no longer need to shift. No, not today. Well, all right then. Let's uh, see what we can figure out. Can we go get the fake ID now? Cargo containers. Well, looks like April's just running off into the distance by herself. Oh, Cargo containers. It's the old shipyard. Wasn't expecting me to, uh, to click off into the distance while it was panning down like that. That's probably a pretty good uh, speedrun strat, though, if you can do it right. Because you know that there's a speedrun of this. Well, hey, the garage is actually open now. Sorry I'm Burns. late. Whoa! It's the fake ID girl. Hold on. Oh, he remembers us. You got it? Where you been, man? I've been holding on to this for a week now. Yeah, a week. What's the trouble? I paid up front. What's the trouble? What's the fucking trouble? The trouble is, baby, this thing's hot. It sizzles, man. They catch it with the shit on my hands, they give me 20 at least. Like you wouldn't get twice that for any of the stuff you have in here. Yeah, but that's mine, man. Mine. My problem. This here is yours. Shit, take it. I don't want it anymore. Charming as always, I what see, up? Flipper. That's all. All right, so we have the fake ID, which means that we should be able to get into the uh, higher levels of the city.
you know, despite the fact that we're still uh, dressed like a wench, basically. Too bad we couldn't just uh, shift back to our place for a second and get a new set of clothes. Our options are a little limited, aren't they? Oh. So clearly, our end goal here is to get the sextasy. Sextasy, sexual fantasy. Just the thing I need to feel really depressed about my love life. Yeah, me too. It's a police officer. Yeah, sure is. Don't mind me, sir. I'm just gonna use this uh this perfectly legitimate key card and access the upper levels like I'm allowed to do. I have a key card. You look very bored, sir. Uh, so elevator, pizza machine, hey. It's a bingo instant pizza machine. I never liked those things. They taste like artificially flavored cardboard boiled in grease. I am sorry. But this bingo instant pizza maker has been shut down by order of the Newport Department of Biological Warfare. I'm sorry, what? About time, too. If you or anyone in your immediate family has enjoyed a delicious bingo instant pizza recently, please report to an area hospital as soon as possible. Have a nice day. I have concerns. I mean, at least, uh, at least we didn't have to experience this pizza while here in basically Yolmore. They got the coolest clothes in that store, the coolest and most expensive. I saved for months to buy a pair of socks there once, the coolest pair of socks I ever had. Time to go shopping. I could definitely do with a change of clothes. And so what if this store's way out of my league? After what I've been through, I deserve to splurge a little. I'm guessing this was actually necessary. I look good, I feel good. Thank God they had a thermal shower in there. I needed a proper disinfection and delousing. She'd do a spinny. And she'd do an actual animated spinny that she's supposed to do. Yeah, unlike of those other spinnies where she's just kind of spinning in place without actually moving. So we can go to the shuttle, we can go to the tubes. He's, he's uh... Sure is getting the buggy down there. By the way, I wonder what it says about my cash card now. My cash card. Okay. Doesn't say anything. I thought, like, after that shopping spree, I don't have much left. Rapture Revisited. They're relaunching the original Amethyn drug. Oh, sorry. Stimulant. Twice as effective at half the cost. Time to usher in a whole new generation of drug addicts. Oh, boy. Uh, rivals. Today's arrivals. Shuttles are inbound from most of the orbiting stations, but traffic from the Morning Star dominates. It's a list of today's departures to the orbiting stations. Most of these are bound for the Morning Star, an MTI-owned station in geostationary orbit above the city. 
geostationary orbit above the city, you say? In other words, somewhere among the stars. Hmm. She's one of those chirpily soulless plastic face sales reps specifically bred for one single minded purpose to make you sign a colonization contract. Those documents are just for show, to create a faux retro atmosphere and put the customer at ease. I mean, if they got paper around, they've got to be good people, right? Sure, why not? You keep telling yourself that. Good morning, ma'am. How are you today? Fantastic. And you? I Let's am just fine, ma'am. Thanks for asking. Well, isn't that just peachy? I guess. How may I help you today, ma'am? How does it feel working for the dark side? Pardon me, ma'am? I mean, it's slavery, isn't it? Certainly not. That's a popular misconception. In fact, our colonists are given the best of care, a job suited to their talents, and a full salary. You tell yourself that, if that makes it easier to sleep at night. That's all, thanks. Thank you, ma'am. Please come back and see us again. Yeah, I'm sure you can't wait for me to come and see you again. I don't think there's anything else to uh, interact with here. So let's go check out the other exit. Which appears to be what I was supposed to do, because here's a cutscene. It's a bored looking policeman. Aren't they all? Officer? Yes, ma'am? Can you direct me to the MTI building? Certainly. See that huge, massive, towering building over there? That's it. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, thanks. You're welcome, ma'am. Good talk. I'll just casually wow. pass through the it's wall. it's a faux Roman palace. How very Las Vegas. <clears throat> we, we can do that when we're, um, when we're the Guardian. We can just pass through walls. That's one of our abilities. Stunning. In a creepy neo-fascist way. Hush. Scary. I believe that circle with a big X through it is supposed to represent the destruction of the balance. These guys don't get around. That's the only elevator in the building? I wonder what they do during rush hours. Yeah, I guess they probably don't have rush hours. Let's ignore this guy and just try to use the elevator. And what, pray tell, do you think you're doing, miss? Me? Uh... Uh, let's just try all of them. I'm visiting a friend of mine. Oh, really? Then your name would be in my appointment diary, yes? Uh, I don't know. I don't really have an appointment. You don't say. And do you really have a friend in the building? No. 
And I suggest you turn around and walk out of here, miss. This is a private building. Also, I, I miss Tyrion leaving there. So hopefully, uh... Hopefully you have a good night, Tyrion. I know you're probably not here anymore, but like... Have a good night anyway. Can I bribe you? I'm sorry. What? Pay you to let me slip by you unnoticed into the elevator? For goodness sake, miss. Absolutely not. I am not your common low life. And blackmail you then? I'm sure even a stand-up guy like you, Jerry, needs some pocket change now and then. Gerald! And no, I do not. Now I would like you to leave. Immediately. Okay, let's just get to the point. What floor is Jacob McAllen on? We do not have a Jacob McAllen working here, miss. Do you have any McAllens at all? I'm not picky. I am not about to divulge any private information to a person such as yourself. Good for you, Jerry. Gerald! It would be so nice if you left now, miss. How do I call the elevator? You do not, miss. I call it. All right, thanks. No, you misunderstand. I call it. For people who work in the building, or for those with appointments with the people who work in the building. You are... How shall I put this? Street vermin. A hooligan. Scum. You were homesick the day they taught diplomacy, weren't you, Jerry? Gerald, please leave the building. Thank you very much, Jerry. <sighs> Gerald! And if you do not leave, miss, I will be forced to call the police. Okay, so I'm still kind of figuring that this is the place that we need to be, considering that we had this uh, the cutscene when we got here. I'm gonna, how should I put this? Put my foot up your rear, Jerry. I'm going to, how shall I put this? try everything that I have on my person, on you. None of it worked. What do you think about that? You're not even worthy of anything that I'm carrying, Jerry. That's Jerry, the ever helpful receptionist. Hi again, uh, Jerry. Gerald, and did I not tell you to leave? Thanks, Jerry. Hmm. Okay. So that went nowhere. The desk serves two purposes. To scare the hell out of innocent visitors, and to instill whomever stands behind it with a sick sense of superiority. Stunning. In a creepy neo-fascist way. Hush. Ah, uh, shut up. You know I'm right. Um... It's a bored-looking policeman. Officer? Anything new to say? Yes, ma'am? Uh, nothing. Sorry to bother you. Now that's... that makes more sense to say, other than, like, most of the time when I don't have anything new to say to a person, they'll just be like, Hi, person. Hello. Bye, person. Have a good one. So, this visit got us absolutely nothing. So, as far as I can tell, we've been pretty much everywhere that we can go. Cool and expensive.
Okay, so I I may need I may need to be pointed in the correct direction here. I can literally feel the price of this outfit. Nice. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to call a crow while I'm anywhere in Stark. This room pixel hunt a bit. Oh boy. It's the adventurer's favorite thing to do. It's a garbage a bin. It's a garbage bin. It's a garbage bin. Doesn't seem to be particularly useful. It's supposed to be the garbage bin. Maybe if I'm closer it's a garbage to it. bin. Maybe if I use something on it. It's a garbage bin. I am sorry if you or anyone. So is there, so I need an item from it, but I'm thinking I have blocked it for a reason. Have I skipped anything? Is there think we one thing you missed doing earlier that may unlock it? Where, it, where is this one thing? Oh, back to the warehouse. Cool. All right. Now off we go into the wild blue warehouse. Uh, makes no sense. What are you talking about, Kolya? Cargo containers. He's trying to, to get into the warehouse area without having to click on the upstairs. Uh-oh, it bites. Mr. Burns. Oh, maybe I need to show him the map. Yes, it is. Your boys, was this? Any chance of you deciphering this for me? Hmm, looks old. This old? It looks old. It's gotta be old. What do you do? Rip off a museum or something? Cause I'm cool with that. <laughs> it was a gift. Would you be able to calculate the coordinates of that cross based on the positions of the stars? Shouldn't be a problem, as long as this thing's accurate. I'll just do some chem trace tests. See when it was made, and then figure out the rotation of the constellations and calculate the... Yeah, sure. And what's it gonna cost me? This time? You still got credit from the AG unit you gave me. Works like a fucking charm, I'll tell you, baby. It's hot, I can float like the wind, duds. Mmm, even with two people on at the same time, oh yeah. I, I don't wanna know that. So, I think there was a bit when of can I get the results? There. Can't do the chem tests here, but I'll call a friend of mine. Owes me a favor. Come back later. Yeah, yeah, later. Much later. Sure. 
And hey, don't wait a week this time. Got it. <sighs> All right. So now do I go back to the uh the upper zones? Junk. Expensive junk, but still junk. Does it requires passage of time to decipher, yeah. I mean, I think we all know at this point how we're going to get to the entrance of the tower. If the bin don't work, then Foose is fired. Maybe, maybe that's why Foose isn't here. So that they don't get fired. Let's, uh, let's do this correctly so that we don't have to go through uh, useless text. I mean, that seems like a pretty good indication that... Uh, there's, an, there's an empty pizza box in there. There's, 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 an, there's, there's an empty pizza box in there. It's a pizza box. Good. I'm glad we were able to establish this 57 times. Okay. So now that we have this pizza box... Yes, we get it. Now bash Jerry over the head with it. Hello, officer. Would you like some really bad pizza? No! <laughs> Fortunately, April knows better than to eat something that uh, she knows is a biohazard. Got a pizza delivery for Mr. McAllen. Really? There's been no... Wait a second. Weren't you in here before? Me? Nah. Uh, been, been delivering pies to the... Uh... To Venice, I, I ain't been up here before. Nice hood, clean pavements, good air. I could have sworn. Oh, very well. Give me the pizza and I will see to it that it's delivered to Mr. McAllen as soon as possible. No can do, guy. This has got to be delivered now before it gets cold. You know how Mr. McAllen gets when his mozzarella is cold. Oh, I can't very well leave my post, so... All right, all right. Step into the elevator and I will send you to Mr. McAllen's office. But I want you back down here pronto, do you understand? Well, that worked somehow. Special delivery, Jerry. Forget about it. There are documents scattered all over the desk. Well, that seems like a good place to start. Papers. There's nothing here that... That's my... That's my name. And my address. Obviously, there's... 
God, they've been tracking me, watching me. That's not creepy at all. Uh oh. Oh. <gasps> hey, buddy. You were the last person I'd expect to find here, Shifter. I've spent an obscene amount of money and resources tracking you down. Since before we knew your name. Before you even came to Newport. And then... You simply walk into my lap like a mouse into a great big trap. See, your voice has gravitas. The, with the cheese, I'd imagine. The Guardian. You may fascinate a woman well, with a piece of cheese. He's not here, I'm sorry to say. He's being held elsewhere, awaiting your direction. You do have them, yes. The directions to the Guardian's realm. Um... I mean, technically, option three is not lying. Sorry, but I never managed to find the entrance to the Guardian's realm. Hmm. Pretty, really. And I thought you'd done so well on your journey across Arcadia. At least you have the disc and the two jewels I'm missing in your possession. So good of you to bring them here. I thought I might have to go pick them up myself. I have friends. Oh, you do. You do. The very best friends, too. Don't make me laugh, girl. Did you really expect your good buddy Cortez to tell you the truth? Or to come to your rescue like a knight in shining armor? He's been using you. Tobias, Cortez, the bloody kin, all your friends. They've been using you for their own selfish reasons. They're no different from me, Shifter. No different at all. The difference is that they care about people. Care? Care about what? I care about people. I have no intention of destroying mankind or enslaving it. I just want to... Open the borders to allow mankind to fulfill its true destiny. The Sentinel. They are the ones who wish to keep the truth secret, to keep the past locked in their sacred scriptures and behind their well-guarded doors. Now, you have been kept from the truth just as much as everyone, Shifter. You are just a piece in a grand game of chess. You're not even a big piece. You're a pawn. That was never very now, good delivery. Now, give me the disc and the jewels, the dragon eyes, and then we can wrap this game up. I'm quite certain you know more than you let on about the Guardian's realm as well. I'll have that information too, very soon. I'm not giving you anything. I have an army of devoted soldiers in this building, Shifter. I run this city. What are you going to do? Round up a mob of your friends? Forget about shifting as well. There are magical barriers against that in this building. All right, How I give up. Know? Here's the disc and the jewels. You see? Oh boy. I wasn't lying to you, unlike some of your accomplices. You don't have a choice. 
You must give me what you have. Fine. Who the hell cares anyway? I'm exhausted and I'm... I give up. Cortez has abandoned me. I've hurt my two best friends in the world and... and maybe you're right. Maybe you're no different from the Sentinel. Maybe they're as bad as you and maybe you deserve each other. It doesn't matter, you've won. What are you gonna do now? Let me guess. This is where the heroine coaxes a confession from the villain before the final act of the play commences. Very well. I'm all for a satisfying denouement. What now? I have the Guardian, I have the disc, and the jewels, the key to the tower. And soon, if you play along like a nice little girl, I'll know where the gateway is. So you don't need me anymore? Apparently not. I thought I might, so I decided not to kill you. But now that I have the Guardian himself, your role in this game is... up. After you tell me what I need to know, of course. Then what will happen to me? Nothing. I'll let you go. You can do me no harm, and I'm not a cruel man. Not unusually so, at any rate. Hmm. They're all very good questions. Let's start with Cortez. What happened to Cortez? Cortez. I had Gordon take care of him. He was just interfering too much for his own sake. There are rules, and he broke them. He brought you into... He broke the rules. He brought me into him breaking the rules. All right. What will you do once you open the gateway to the Guardian's realm? Gordon Alloway will take the Guardian's place in the tower, and he will rule according to my plan. The worlds will be reunited, and the Earth will be one realm, as it was and as it should be. So, this is all part of your master plan to rule the Earth? When you put it like that, I guess... yes. But I'll be a fair and just ruler, my dear. What's the point? You're like, what, 60? In another 60 years, you'll be dead, and then what? Leave the kingdom to your firstborn? <laughs> I'll be around a lot longer than 60 years. A lot longer. You really don't know me, do you? You really don't know anything about me. Apparently not. How did you get the other two jewels? I've had one of them for ages. The other came into my possession only a week ago, as luck would have it. And now I have the last two and the disc. Why didn't you go look for the jewels and the pieces of the disc yourself? <sighs> I would have. But my power over Arcadia has been... disturbingly limited until now. The Tyrant have proved a valuable addition to my... disciples. And with their help, I've dispensed with most of my opposition in Arcadia. But still, locating the stones would have required the cooperation of the Sentinel. Now, I may be a charismatic man, but I doubt they would have told me anything. And those wretched, magical races, you think they would have cooperated? No. They were waiting for their savior, their prophecy come true. And you seem to fit the bill. Why not take advantage of that? As for the jewels, the white and the blue of the dry kin were not likely to submit to me 
and that was a battle even I'd be well advised to avoid. But time is ticking, Shifter, and the wheel of the balance is turning. Please, enter the elevator to your right. I want to show you something. That was the elevator to kind of to her left, at least once she turned around. What the hell is this? What do you think? What is it? This is the end result of the centuries of work and research the Vanguard have done. A breeding ground for shifters such as yourself. Warrior shifters. So tell me, ah, yes. what do you think? Xeno warrior shifter. I feel like no matter what I say here, I lose. So let's just be apathetic. Does it matter what I think? No, I'm just trying to be polite. Now, give me the disc and the jewels. And don't try anything this time. I might have to hurt you myself. I will ask this one last time, because I am a patient man. Where is the gateway to the Guardian's realm? It's in Reading, England. I'm thinking either one reply, reply in kind, or three, just be a snarky April. I don't know, I'm feeling one, honestly. I kind of wish that I could see all of these, but eh, what are you gonna do? And I'll say this one final time because I'm a patient woman. Go screw yourself. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. That's all I needed to know. I'll leave you alone here for a while. When I come back, I'm sure you'll be a lot more cooperative. Okie doke. So we're here now. Oh. Uh. Hi. It's a monster! It sure is, and it appears Elevator to be completely locked. incapable of anything. Hoverpad exit closed. Hoverpad exit? It's a fancy safe or containment chamber. So like, it seems like the worst that it can do is flail at me. It's a fancy safe or containment chamber. Later, nerd. It's 
still coming after me. Now I can't actually interact with it. not around I should try again later I guess he's not around in this completely different world okay so that's not the answer find magic go I'll save it for when I really need it. Want a shiny coin? I'm gonna bribe you. Bitch, you need it now, AJ Pop. Thing is, like, I don't have a cursor to interact with this monster. I don't have a cursor to interact with anything but myself. Run, bitch, run, get some help. I'll save it for when I really need I can literally feel the price of this outfit. Nice. Oh. oh, this wasn't such a good idea. Hey, all uh, right, I was you want to try discussing things over a hot here. cup of mocha instead of all this killing April business? I guess not. Well, hell! What the? What even was that? Cortez! <laughs> this phases out of existence. Where have you been, You've buddy? been keeping some rough company, senorita. Better be more careful in the future, no? Where have you been? What? Were you worried? Yes! No, I mean, I was scared you were, you know, dead. So you care about me? Ave Maria Purissima. What am I going to do now without you telling me to get lost? <laughs> Don't joke about this, Cortez. I've been in a lot of situations these past few days where I could have needed your help, but you weren't there. Perdóname. Forgive me, senorita. I've been indisposed. When I finally managed to escape my prison last night, I began looking for you. You left an interesting trail, I must say. What do you mean? Why is April for so one, the border house. Most of Venice, for that matter, was under guard. There seemed to be some question as to how you managed to escape the Vanguard agents. Magic. So I thought. You've been picking up a few pointers in Arcadia. I'm turning into quite the Girl Scout. It's amazing how resourceful you can be when you're in a bind. I see. I've noticed. How did the Vanguard capture you? With a small army, and with the help of a very dangerous man, Gordon Holloway. I met him, not the most personable guy in the world, and he could really do with some sun. Gordon is a... a creature of pure logic. He was split in two halves when he was a child, one bound to Stark, the other to Arcadia. The victim of terrible vanguard experiments, I'm afraid. The Chaos Vortex, right? That's him. He's magical and chaotic, half untethered. What some people would call his soul. Gordon would have been guardian had the Vanguard not destroyed him. I heard the story. Can he still be guardian? The Vanguard believes so. But if he did become guardian, he would twist and corrupt the balance to his own benefit. What the consequences would be, I fear to even think. Have you told me everything I should know, Cortez? About? About this. 
about everything that's happened to me in the past, say, week. I've told you all I can tell you. Well, tell me sure. more. You know, I overheard a conversation between you and your friend, Father Raoul, and then McAllen. Jacob McAllen? He's here? He was. He released that mutant freak on me, so that I'd tell him where the gateway to the Guardian's realm is. Adios mio. We must get you away from here. He's a very dangerous... Also, how did you get here without running into him? Like, there he is. Why, if it isn't a family reunion... I could smell your hand in this, brother. Isuda is yet. The Vanguard. Was this the extent of your originality? I'm sorry, what? If you had to meddle in the affairs of mortals, would it not have been prudent to show a little subtlety? He seized the dragon and bound him for a thousand years. Free at last, brother? Taisayutairus. Kisei. I didn't picture you walking amongst men in a man's body with a man's name. McAllen. The balance must not have dealt you and yours with the best of hands. I'm sorry, what- The balance I... will cease to be, brother. The scales will topple, and the old walls will fall. The age of dragons is imminent, whether you join us or not. Join you? You symbolize all that I despise. You hate and fear these mortals so much, you bring on chaos to destroy them. But you will only succeed in destroying yourself. Our time will come eventually, but not by your doing. Are these worlds of mortals so important to you that you forget who you are? I never forgot who I am. That crime is yours alone, brother. What's this? There is still time. You are blood of my blood. Kin to my kin. You are immortal dragon. And our destinies weigh the scales of the universe. Where do you get all those cliches, kin to my kin? Doesn't it ever bother you that you sound like a badly written play? He does though, really. Oh well. I will not miss your sarcasm, brother. It always felt a little... strange. So this whole time, it was McAllen and Cortez. See, I had the idea that maybe Cortez was like the last guardian and he had escaped for some reason, but apparently not. He's just one of the for Drake Kim. And now he and McAllen are... Okay. I thought they were going to be dead, but apparently not. That's fine. There's just going to be an epic dragon battle Cortez. in the middle of the, you know, science world. Cortez's watch stopped. Oh God, his heart. That's what Brian said. Cortez called it his heart. His heart has stopped. Cortez is dead. I can't believe that. It doesn't make sense because, because. <sighs> He's gone. They all die. God damn. I can't. Everybody I love dies. Everybody I. Huh. That does not seem like the most ideal thing. On the plus side, hopefully McAllen's dead too. Unlock containment chamber? I think yes.
Okay, so we have the complete stone disc now. It's the complete and assembled stone disc, forged by the fire of a dragon and chilled in the cool waters of the Sentinel Enclave. And it clearly has the four eyes of the dragon. Let's sell it on eBay. I think you saw this in Tears of the Kingdom. And what, pray tell, took you so long? Excuse me. I'm talking to you. Stop. Screw you, Jerry. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. <gasps> Well, the only thing that I can think of right now is maybe, um, maybe Burns Flipper is done with the map. Although, there definitely seems to be something going on. It's an instant pizza machine. I am sorry if you. Yes, yes. I'm guessing that it's not every day that you're going to see two literal fucking dragons uh, plummet from like a thousand story building. It's a police officer. It sure is. So yeah, literally the only thing that I can think of right now is... I think I actually managed to click on it this time. Let's see if she heads over to... Yeah, um, the warehouse without my further intervention. Yes! Hopefully enough time has passed. Although I really do wish that they would cut out some of these screens after uh, after we've been through them a couple times. Hello, Flipper. Oh, ah. You okay, bud? Oh my God! What happened to you? <coughs> they shot me. They took the fucking map. Who? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, but they, they promised me I'd walk again. Who did? Halloway, the vanguard. I, I had a deal with them. Then, uh, when, when you come back, I sent word they, uh, they wanted the map, information on it. They wanted you. You sold me out to the vanguard. Oh, I'm so sorry. They. Threatened me with they. They said you can walk again or you can fucking die. Your choice. My choice. I understand. Just take it easy. Don't move too much. I'm gonna call the cops and then. No! <coughs> no, don't. I'm dying. I, they would just put me in jail. Listen to me. April, the map, it, I deciphered it. They took, they took it with them, everything, but I, I made a copy. <coughs> Over there on the screen. What am I looking at? <coughs> I I played with the map you gave me, and though there was information missing, I. <coughs> Why don't you just take it easy for a while? Don't say anything. You do not God, have my permission took to it. die. See the flashing cross? That <coughs> that's the destination on the map. 
Some kind of anomaly, I guess. <coughs> Nothing about it in, in any data bank, but right next to it, there's a spaceport, the Morning Star. <coughs> Transfer terminal to the colonies, luxury hotels, casinos. <coughs> if you need to get to the position on the map, that, that's the way to do it. Go to the Morning Star. Halloway was bringing, bringing something with him up, up there to the station. Uh, I heard them talking about it. it. Sounded important. The Guardian? It's gotta be the Guardian. These guys are bad, the worst. You gotta be careful, I'm fucking telling you. I'm the only chance we got. I know, get him. Get up there to the Morning Star. Go to the Morning Star, do what you have to do, now. I will. <coughs> I'm sorry. You okay, Flipper? Flipper! Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Damn. Thanks, Flipper. Flipper, no, anyway. So now it's back to pretty much where we just were. One would think that Foos would have been here because, you know, this is... I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say it, this is probably gonna be the last episode. I'm, I gotta be... I gotta be close enough to the end to finish tonight, right? Okay, I can just go through the door. I don't need to use the key. Let's go to the mar to the to Martin Star. I know <laughs> I don't know what accent that is, but it's an accent. Welcome back, ma'am. How may I help you? I'd like to register as a colonist. Hey, Very Zen. good, ma'am. You won't regret this decision. I can assure you of that. I'm sure I will. In fact, I already do. Uh, yes, well, we'll do our best to find the perfect colony for your tenure after you fill out a simple multiple choice form and... Why not just call it slavery? I mean, that's what it is, isn't it? Oh, no, ma'am, certainly not. Our colonists are given the best of care and a full salary to go with their assigned tenure. Whatever, I just need to get on a ship that'll take me through to the Morning Star transfer station. We do you have a that? ship leaving this evening with colonists bound for Bukamba 8, and that does stop at the Morning Star. But I'd suggest you go through our pamphlets. Sign me up for... what was it? Bukamba 8? That's where I want to go. Uh, all right, ma'am. If you would just hand me your Newport ID card and place your right thumb on that black square, we can get you registered. There. That's it, ma'am. You're registered. Now, if you just take your baggage... No baggage. Nothing, ma'am? Well, you will receive everything you need when you get to the colonies, so no problem. Just head up to gate number one and wait in our lounge. And I have to remind you that if you choose not to board your ship this evening, you will have committed a corporate offense, and you will be subject to imprisonment. 
and a nice day to you too. So I'm starting to think that there are some items in my inventory that I'm just not going to use. I might have been able to use them as a gag or something somewhere, but here we are in chapter 12, Dreamland, and I'm still carrying around a synthetic leaf. Everybody looks tired and lost. I mean, that's me all the time. Restaurants, stores, casinos, bars, all designed to squeeze those last precious few dollars out of the colonists' pockets. Well, at least they won't be needing money where they're going. Earth. I didn't know it could look so beautiful and peaceful. Yeah. I mean, the, the chaos pretty much starts when you land on Earth. If you got more than one suitcase with you, this is where you have to dump it. The bastards probably raid the contents and sell it to the stores after clearing the hall. It's a station guard keeping the colonists out of restricted areas. In other words, making sure we don't get out of this hall. Hey! You can't pass through there, colonist! Oh, sure enough, the synthetic leaf is gone. <laughs> I guess maybe I could have used that somewhere, but it's not important now. No! Oh no, they took away the photograph. We can no longer look at this photograph. Okay. Um, official business. It's a station guard. I'll save it for when I really need it. Okay, what is, what is the move here? I think Phoenix right where you're flashing your badge everywhere. You know the badge that, that all attorneys get for being an attorney? It's the ladies' room. There are 300 women here, and the ladies' room is locked? Good God! Well, looks like we don't That's have a That's the men's there. room. A realm of great mystery and foul odors. This is one journey I'd prefer not to embark on. Deep breath, try not to breathe. Listen, we're not that stinky. Instant heat. For that special moment when manly vigor is required. Fast. Ha! Their secret revealed! Instant heat? What the... To purchase instant heat, the number one source of manly vigor, please insert a cash or credit chip now. Well, I got this. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for purchasing card, Instant Heat, the number one source of manly vigor. Please be advised that excessive use of Instant Heat, the number one source of manly vigor, can cause involuntary spasms and discharge. Now when you say discharge, you know what, let's not, uh, let's not push that any further. It's a garbage can. I feel like I'm spending my entire life pushing trash from one place to another. Weirdest thing, that. Hey! 
Hey, looky, it's a hole in the wall, cleverly concealed. You gotta hand it to them. They know security. Oh boy. Get my hands dirty? I think not. But usually you use the sink to get your hands clean. I shudder to think what's been done in this. It's filthy. Get my hands dirty? Okay. I think not. Uh, I'll go some other time. I don't even want to find out. <laughs> it's a grill covering what looks like a narrow passage. It's screwed tight. Curse the day I traded away my screwdriver. Oh, callback. Okay, so these are literal pills. Instant heat. I think that's like the number one source of manly vigor, or whatever. I probably don't actually want to use it on myself. Ugh, no! <laughs> oh, here we go. So we had that last coin for a reason. Yeah, you should you shouldn't need to get back up after every action. April. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Looks like it leads into a larger ventilation or service duct of sorts. All right, I guess we're traveling through the Jeffreys tubes. You know the Jeffreys tubes are actually named after the set designer for the original Star Trek series? It's true. So, a bunch of exits here, but it's, oh, there we go. It's just very specific about where it wants me to click. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see the circles now. Of course they have cameras down here. It's a surveillance camera. It's connected to the station feed via an optical cable. Well, that looks like a thing to do. What's going on? Who's there? Hey, hold on, stop right there. Haha. I accidentally the solution. No, no time for that now. The guard could be back at any moment. No time for that now. The guard could be back any moment. Somebody's playing solitaire. Oh, jeez. What the heck are you doing in here? This is a restricted area. Well... You're going back to the pen with the other colonists, Missy. Thank goodness there's no, uh, there's no game over states in this game. And April was thus sent to the colonies. Damn. Oh, I think I see what I gotta do. Basically, I'll be able to get out through this door while Buddy is uh, fixing the cable here, and then I can run out this way.
What's going on? Who's there? Hey, hold on. Stop right there. Good. Very, very effective governance. The guard's out there looking for me. I'd better leave the way I came. The camera I disabled is still out. Nope. No time for that now. The guard could be back any moment. It's an official looking coat. It it's a coffee mug. Oh. I guess. Is one enough? Ah, what the hell. I'll use all of them, just in case. It's not as if I'm gonna be needing them myself. Ah, what damn. the heck are you doing in here? I was hoping to get out before I got back. You're going but, back uh... to... Alright. Once more into the breach. These tunnels go on for miles and miles. Before I risk getting lost, I should at least know. I can watch him take his meds. This doesn't taste right. I feel... Mary, mother of God. I really this is feel... gonna get real God awkward, damn. isn't it? Madam Joyce, pleasure suites on the promenade had better be open. This constitutes an emergency. Later, nerd. Pretty sure there's a severe punishment for abandoning your post. Wait. Get the coat. There's something in one of the pockets. It's a short and thin cylinder. A magnetic key, I believe. That might come in handy. Yeah, that sounds like it would. Everything is clear, Central. Over. Everything is clear, Central. Over. Everything is clear, Central. Over. I'm gonna guess that I can't just tell them all to go away. Right? That seems too obvious. I'm orange. <laughs> okay. You know what? Maybe for good measure we can turn off this camera again. Nobody is going to be around to do anything about it anymore. Okay, that literally did nothing. Wow, I literally cannot dismiss that. Everything is clear, Central. Over. Other than to just ask for a report. Roger that, Central. Taking a break. 
Out. Okay. So that blocked off the rest area. It's an electronic lock with a sliding cover. Which I could probably use this key on. Or not. Or not. Okay. This is not the correct use of the key. Can I use anything else? Nope. Good. This was a waste of time. Go check out the airlock, I guess. Negative on that command, Central. Somebody's already taking a break. Over. Ah. Everything is clear, Central. Over. Roger on that command, Central. Moving into position. Out. Roger that, Central. Taking a break. Out. Sorry if I'm not very talkative right now, it's like just trying to figure out what it is that I'm supposed to do. So this allows me to go to the airlock, but is that any use? Oh, there's a red button. feel like the thing to do is press the red button. No, don't touch the red one. Don't ever touch the red one. Okay, double time. Let's go. There we go. Now I kind of double click in a real awkward Rope way. Pod. It's a single-person pod, used to maneuver outside the station to do general maintenance and, um, clean windows, I guess. We used to run simulations of similar pods back in school, just for fun. Oxygen filter? Damn, the filter's missing. So, that looks like something that, uh, we probably need to do. It's a single-person pod. Yes. So we gotta find an oxygen filter. I think since it is now half an hour before the scheduled end of the stream, at the very least, let's just try to... If we were to make a concerted effort, can we make it in like an hour or less? Or even an hour and a half? Cause like I don't I don't want to get to like next week's stream and we play for like an hour and that's it. Cause I'm I'm going to need an entire stream, like if if I'm doing. All right, well let's do it then. But uh, I'm probably going to need some assistance, just to not have to fiddle around with like every single puzzle. Roger right? on that command, Central. Moving into position. Out. 
Roger that, Central. Taking a break. I'm Out. guessing that I probably need to go to the cargo bay, right? Now that's the only place that we... When you look at the cells more... On this screen... Everything is clear, Central. Over. There's not really much to look at. It's a bank of security monitors connected to cameras around the station. Suppos supposedly you're supposed to learn who is in cell 5. It's a bank of security monitors connected to cameras. Hmm. I think this ah, is a registry of all the prisoners on the station. Let's see. Yeah. Cell block registry. Cell number one, Agusty Bryan. Cell two, Ruth Pawani. Cell three, Morgan Anger. Cell four, Hammer Hansen. Cell five, reference G. Holloway. G. Holloway? Gordon? That's gotta be it. The Guardian's in cell number five. Okay. Roger on that command, Central. Moving into position. Out. Roger that, Central. Taking a break. Out. I like how they're basically all clones of each other. Okay, now, now I've figured out how to get to the uh, the cargo bay. I didn't see that other exit, but now I see it. Oh, there we go. So now the actual locking mechanism's been exposed. Now we can use the key. Nice hoodie. Hello. You are a hard man to find. You. You speak Navin. Are you from Arcadia? No, but I have had a lot of practice. I I'm a shifter, like yourself. And as it turns out, the next Guardian, although I'm currently in denial. April. April Ryan. Adrian. Have you come to free me? Or to question me more? I'm with the good guys. Well, I'm all that's left of the good guys. The balance. It is collapsing. I did not want to leave my... the Guardian's realm. But I... I had to. I'm back. Nobody's blaming you. But if we don't get moving soon, we won't have time to save the world. Worlds! Can you believe I'm still not getting my head around that concept? What do we do? You just keep close to me. And let me worry about that, okay? I've had some practice in subterfuge lately. I will do as you say. It's Adrian, the Guardian. Sure is. Okay, so now he's following us around like a zombie. Actually, before... I don't know if I gotta like close this again so that everything looks to be in order. No, we don't have the key anymore. It's an electronic lock with a sliding cover. All right, well, hopefully no one notices anything. It's an official looking coat. Holding on your command, sir. Over. Cool. Roger on that command, Central. Moving into position. Out. Everything is clear, Central. Over. Okay. 
doesn't care about anything. Uh, do we go to the cargo bay now? Roger that, Central. Taking a break. Out. Because it didn't look like we could do anything at the airlock. Oh, that's the wrong way. You have homeboy with you now, so something is bound to be available. We haven't been to the cargo bay yet. F two oh two one. Okay. Oh god, this is going to take ages. That's T11 up there and V413 down there. C34102 and 103, D991 to 4 and E2019. This doesn't seem to be in any particular order. Phew. Q 45, 30, 31, and 33. Whatever happened to 32? Uh, and L93, L94, and L108. Well, I would have had something to say for Wing Sync earlier. Um, because I thought that going four extra hours. So, um... G42-1 to... This whole row seems to be the G42 series. G98-10, 13, and L10-10, 11, and 12. Yeah, like, for, for a while, I was kind of going under the assumption that Cortez was supposed to be the Guardian that had escaped the tower for some reason, but obviously that's not the case. Um, I was not expecting Cortez to be one of the drag kin. That's for damn sure. Uh, and McAllen to be the other one in Stark. Although... That would definitely make it easy for him to get at least one of the dragon's eyes. Even e more 1489 to 102 and L109. Although it's uh I do wonder if it actually is a thing that like in truth April Ryan is like a child of one of the drag kin, which is why she is the guardian. And if that's true, then is Adrian also one of the ch the children of the drag kin? It's an inventory database of all the parts stored in the cargo bay. Well, maybe I should have started with this. I'll do a quick search for the oxygen filter I need. Pods, spare parts, oxygen filters. Bingo! They've got a bunch of them in stock stored at L109. L109. I know we've seen that, and I think it's a over here. A whole lot of boxes. Or maybe it's over here. E1489-102 and L109. L109, that's the one. Alright, we got the oxygen filter. We just pass right through these crates and we'll be good to go. Alright, we got the oxygen filter, and now we gotta get back to the airlock.
You're just kind of still wandering around, <laughs> shambling. Seem, you seem not really entirely certain of what's happening, sir, and that's perfectly fine. Neither, neither do Roger I really know what's up. Moving into position. Out. Roger that, Central. Taking a break. Out. I love how they're not really questioning why they're taking so many breaks. How many breaks do these guys get? Maybe it's just a union thing, who knows. Can you please can you please go a little faster? Understand this a gateway to the Guardian's realm, a wormhole, something like that. It's somewhere outside the station. Not far from this metal box. No, not far. I can sense it. It calls to me. Perhaps, perhaps a day's journey on foot. We'll be going a lot faster than that. Trust me. Stay here while I get everything ready. Don't go anywhere, okay? I will not. Believe me when I say, I do not want to go anywhere. This place frightens me. I mean, that's fair. Let's put in this oxygen filter now. Step into this machine. What is it? It's a pod. A sort of exoskeletal spacesuit. Oh hell, like you have any idea what I'm talking about? It will protect you when we travel to the gateway. That's all you need to know. How do I use it? Well, you don't. Or at least you don't. I will launch myself right behind you, and then I'll come to get you. We'll go through the gateway together. I understand. One thing, April. One thing, April. When we get to my... To the Guardian's realm, we may be separated, and I must give you a warning. Of what? Of the three trials before you get to the Well of Making. There are more trials still? I thought that since I had the disc... The disc is but the key, and a replacement for the disc that was broken when I... when I deserted the tower. You will still need to prove your worth to the balance that you can take the responsibility of being Guardian for a thousand years. Oh boy. Okay, so tell me, what are these, uh, three trials? The first trial is a trial of might. Defeat a powerful enemy using your talents in war and in magic. Great, I have absolutely no magical or warrior talents whatsoever. And the second one? The second trial is the trial of spirit. Face that which you fear the most, the darkness in your heart to go on. Spiders? You may not even be aware of your deepest fear, April. It is locked in your heart. The third trial is the trial of matter. To get to the well of making, you must cross an apparently insurmountable barrier using whatever means at your disposal. That sounds like the easiest one. So that's it? Pass through those trials and I'm home free? Yes. Like I said, there is a chance I might not be there with you. And in that case, you must make your way towards the tower. Okay, got it. Now, let's hurry up before somebody finds us here. Go into the pod and don't worry, I'll be right behind you.
You know what? Being in being in the emptiness of space would be the biggest trial for me. Like right there. And Albert here is not having a good day. Oh boy, we're being followed. Chapter 13. Okay, this has got to be the final chapter. I mean, we got a title here. Anybody here? Compared to this place, Arcadia was about as alien as my bedroom. Blue sand. Never seen that outside of a Picasso. But yeah, um, j just to be clear, my whole thing about the the Guardian and the Drakenkin, and April being the next Guardian, being a child of Drakenkin, that was my response to the Wing Sink. Alright, so we're almost there. It's chapter 13, it's the longest journey. The name of the game is The Longest Journey. This has to be the final chapter, there's zero doubt about it. Um, I'm going to take a quick break. It's not going to be a full break, as is usual when we take a. Uh, a second break in the stream. Pretty much just, I'm getting a little hungry, so I should probably eat something before we continue. And yeah, exchange fluids, as it were. So, um, you know, take a moment. I will be back in uh, not too long here. <laughs> 